everyone. What's going on? Today, I'm gonna bite the bullet and I am going to do all my errands. Um, have not been looking forward to that. Am I gonna go pick up my prescription today? No. It's not gonna happen. Let's see, on the list, I have to drop off the Google Fiber routers at the post office. Why did that take me 40 years to get out of my mouth? <laughs> So I'm taping that up now and I also have to send a package I've been needing to send for literally months to a friend I also need to go pick up a prescription at my old pharmacy and then I think I'll go to Dunkin Donuts to treat myself <laughs> I also need to do like work stuff That I haven't done <laughs> I'm so quirky. Okay, let's get started. I won't even lie, it was extremely stinky in here and I don't really know why. And I waited for an hour and it was like kind of underground. Hi, bitch. You wanna hear something sad? So I had to come over to the area that I used to live because I needed to pick up prescri a prescription at the pharmacy that I used to live by. Gotta make that change. Mental note will definitely be going away. And I, I went to Trader Joe's. Like I tell you about that. Oh, I was, I was like, I'm over here. I might as well go to Trader Joe's. There's no Trader Joe's over where I'm living now at my parents. And I like aimlessly drove back to my old place and I like parked and I was like, what the fuck am I doing? So I'm leaving now. <laughs> oh God, I'm crazy. Y'all went to Trader Joe's. Look what I got. Doggy advent calendar, bitch. Tony quite frankly. Just give me them babies. Okay, so, but guess what? All of my, all my errands are done. And it's only two o'clock, girl. Um, so yeah, definitely have not been, you know, putting together. I definitely need to go home and do work now. Ooh, the bumps. I was like, I was like driving through the neighborhood and I realized I was like, oh my God, like right when we moved out, the leaves changed colors. Wham, I'm upset now. <laughs> Hello, I'm back home. This is what I got from Trade Joe's. You ready? They got the best stuff. I won't lie. They have really good cashew yogurt. I've never tried this, but the hazelnut coffee creamer. Oh my God. I'm not into that. I really am not into flavored coffee like that, but I thought I would try it. Like when I go into Trader Joe's, it is, I truly lose my mind. I truly lose every type of logical sense that I have is just out the door. Then I got my favorite salsa from there. This is like a very mild. I got a couple of La Colombe coffee. Um, I saw they had a peppermint mocha and I was like, girl, I'm gonna try it. And I just got iced coffee and I got half and half. Um, the reason why I socked up so much is because I put this on my story, but I'm really starting to feel really just anxious because there's a lot of talk about a second COVID um, wave, even though in my opinion, it's always been like bad. I got flowers, beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. In the midst of me showing you my Trader Joe's haul, I forgot I had a goddamn phone interview that I needed to attend to. So that's me talking, gibbing, doing my thing. Yum. Okay, this is good. Ha ha ha. He he he. Oh, I talked about this on my story, but bitch, this. Yeah, this shirt is squad. This is like the best, the cheesy crackers. They're new, and I don't think they're gonna be around for much longer, but y'all gotta get these. I swear to God. <laughs> okay, girl, stop. I gotta get to work. Goodbye. Hey guys, so it's the next day, and to be quite honest with you, I wasn't going to include this clip because it was a full body shot, and I was feeling a little bit insecure. But then I was like, wow, that really is my body. <laughs> Whether I like it or not, for better, for worse, for sickness and in health, she's there for me. So I thought, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to leave this clip in because it's who I am. And sure, I may be built like a stick with an apple on top, <laughs> but hey, that's who I am. I got bitches off the sand. Ho! Hi, everyone. It's later in the day and I got a package. So as you all know, I'm trying to make this area right here, soundproof filming podcast area, like this nook of the room. And so I bought sound absorbers to absorb the sound. I also bought a new camera lens. 
Woo! I'm so excited. I have not bought new camera stuff in so long. Oh my god, the lens. The lens, the lens, the lens. Okay, I gotta show you the lens. The lens, the lens, the lens. Ready for some technology porn? So this is something called a prime lens. I don't know if this, anyone cares, but basically it's gonna be for sit down videos and then I'm going on another lens. But that's on back order, so that's not coming till later. And I'm really trying to try it out, so. <laughs> okay, so this lens is definitely so much better. The autofocus is crazy. <gasps> oh my god, I love it. I love this lens. So I have my boards, my sound boards. I need to figure out how I'm going to stick these to the wall. They're sound absorbing. Hello, hello, hello. This is basically what we have right now. I don't really know if it's doing anything. <gasps> I don't really know whether to try it or not. I think I'm just gonna have to keep piling them on. I don't even think I bought enough. I'm gonna put most of these panels on the ceiling, like the the in the enclosed ceiling, because I think that's what has the most issues with echo. Can't even see it. It's okay. Um, are we are we seeing what I what, what I think I'm seeing? Miss Beefcakes, Miss Thickums, Miss Fit, Miss Tone. <laughs> I don't look at my backside a lot, but goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> I think it might be working. Electric love. I mean, it's definitely working when I put my face to it. Here is the T. This corner would probably work a fuck of a lot better. I feel like there's too much noise and sound like with the window. Like would it work better over there? <laughs> it's still echoey in here. <laughs> this is what I've done. I basically put panels up on the ceiling, I don't know, what is that called? Like the, the concaved ceilings. And I don't think it did anything and I obviously need more. Wait, hold on, let's see if I put, if I put the blinds down, let's see what it does. Hey, what's up? Oh, it helps. Oh, it helps. Today is Saturday. Look at this lighting, it's very weird. I literally thought I was recording a whole like getting ready in my bathroom, but it, <laughs> I didn't press record. Um, So here we are. <laughs> Let's pretend I got ready, okay? Okay, pretend, pretend I'm getting ready, okay? Getting ready, 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 getting ready. About to get some Starbies, got some kombucha. Very fun and exciting. And I'm definitely gonna be late to meeting my friends. I got a call from Azure. And she was like, yeah, um, this place doesn't have any trees. And I'm like, girl, I told you, it's so early. Also, why do I look like a vampire with my eyes? They look so light right now. This city is so weird. Like, I don't know what these old people are doing next to me, but I think it's like what comes with any metropolitan city, just the pure amount of fuckery that goes on. Like, these people are like pulling something. I'm not gonna take a video of them because that's really mean, but they're like pulling something as they're slowly driving in this parking lot on the back of their car. <laughs> And now that my plans are canceled, I don't know what to do with the day. Hey guys, so I'm gonna teach you how to make some oatmeal that I like because I was still hungry when I got home. So I'm gonna add a little bit of half and half and oats and cocoa powder and cinnamon. Oh, here's my goddamn secret. It is this pumpkin chocolate chunk cookie. Ugh, dough? No, it's like a cookie mix um, from Trader Joe's. It has oats in it and I just sprinkle a little bit of that in there and it gets cooked. I think this is seasonal. Rip, it's seasonal. So um, I don't think I can ever get it again. <laughs> But that's okay. I'll just uh, stop eating oatmeal forever. Please get it. Please. Oh, and blueberries. Thank What's you. What's going on? I have my coffee and my oatmeal now. And I thought I would sit outside because it's such a beautiful day. Cheers for the mum. Oh, cheers for the money, mum. So I have some friends coming over and they're bringing their dog. I do love getting breakfast at places like Starbucks and like Dunkin' Donuts. But sometimes I just don't get filled up. And the only way I'm not going to like sit around and like think about food is if I you know, satisfy myself, so. It's so nice being here. The leaves are looking great. God damn, there's so many planes. Okay, I wanna talk about some of my favorite YouTubers. I've been like getting into YouTube more lately. For like the last year, I like 
because I became an editor for other creators, I've like definitely sworn off watching YouTube just because I was, it felt like work to me, you know what I mean? Like, cause I'm always like watching reference videos, I'm always editing for other YouTubers. So I stopped really watching YouTube and indulging in that. Let me tell you, let me tell you some. I've been into it again. Last night I spent five hours watching Brittany Broski. Um, I feel like she is my twin flame. And I feel like we will meet at some point, I'm not worried about it, we will at some point come together she's in LA I'm in Atlanta it doesn't even matter like it's it's you know those people that you know will be in your life <laughs> I sound crazy another one of my favorite YouTubers that I never miss a single video is Denny Cayedo oh my god I literally just cringe saying that Denny Cayedo I can't like roll my R's Danny is the best I've become friends with her um randomly her and her husband rock it's very refreshing to see a young person truly open up in the way that she has and I am very proud of her and I live for each and every single one of her uploads I cannot tell you how many times I'm just like it's been about three days ma'am you know just twiddling my pubes waiting for a video. I truly think her and her husband have like the ability, like they are going to become like some of the biggest YouTubers in my opinion. Anyways, I think that's all for my favorite YouTubers. Um, <laughs> yeah, this, those two, I like live for their uploads. I think both of them have inspired me so much. What is going on? They both inspire me so much. Like those two women and I just can't tell you how much I appreciate them. <laughs> I don't give a diddly damn about the hype house the blight blouse who cares about them like i urge you so hard to not indulge in that type of content and really look beyond what is right in front of your face and what is so easily ac accessible when you really think about it let's break it down people that are in the hype house and like are really really famous on tiktok are the ones that all look the same have all the same skin color, do all the same types of content, literally just do the same like David Dobrik ass shit and it is not good. Like I, I will sit here and say it's not good. I don't think it's good content. Sue me. Sue me! I guess all in all, I just urge you to go check out people and indulge in people's content that don't look like you and are very different from you. Let me get off my soapbox and let's go enjoy our day.